Hey, sugar. I get a lot of comments asking me how I'm so happy, if I have any tips or advice, or basically how I got to this point. And all I have to say is that I'm delusional. Be delulu till it's true, my friend. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's actually years of therapy that's got me here to this point. The three main things that I learned from therapy that really helped me was learning self-love, protecting your peace, and stop comparing yourself to other people. And I know that a lot of people are like, oh, but self-love is selfish and like you can't do that. But well, well, don't listen to those people. If anybody tries to tell you that self-love is selfish, kick those people to the curb. I mean it. Now, if you practice self-love and you only love yourself and you do it in an egotistical way, then yeah, that's a problem. But to do something for yourself and show yourself love, it's not selfish. It's not because you should be able to do something for yourself and not feel bad about it. You should and I feel like society has programmed us to be like, well, you know, be a people pleaser and like you only do stuff for other people if you want to be considered a good person. Stop that because trust me, I was a people pleaser my whole entire life and when I got to therapy and my therapist asked me who I was, I did not have an answer for him and that is so terrifying to be asked that question and not have an answer because you spent your whole entire life pleasing other people that you have no idea who you are. It's horrible. So I have spent the past few years figuring out who I am and now I can confidently go to my therapist and tell him who I am and I'm still figuring some things out but the things that I do know about myself, I'm very grounded in and I can say it with confidence and I'm like, this is who I am. So the second thing I had to learn was how to protect my peace and whether or not that be working a job that you know is not serving you because it's not bringing you happiness or fulfillment or a person. There are people in your life who do not deserve to be in your life. If that person's doing nothing but tearing you down and making you feel bad, then you know what you have to do. And that doesn't mean that it's going to be easy, but you got to do it. You know, but on the flip side of that, you also find people that bring you so much happiness and joy and you hold on to those people. I've learned who is important to me and what is important to me. And I hold on to those things and everything else. I really do live by it is what it is mindset. Everything else that is not that important to me. I'm just like, eh. <laughs> The third most important thing that I learned from therapy was to stop comparing myself to other people. Whether or not that be like, oh, this person has a great job. Like, why don't I have a job like that? Or this person looks like this. Like, I feel like I need to look like that. Stop it. Because you're never going to be that person. Now, you can take certain aspects from people and be like, wow, this person's so kind. I want to incorporate more of that into my life. I really like how driven they are. I'm going to like try to do more of that for myself. That's okay. But you can't be like, I need to be this person because it's never going to happen. You're going to strive for something and never be able to obtain it. And you're never going to feel fulfilled. So you have to stay true to who you are and just be genuine. Just be you and don't feel bad about it. The three things that I try to live by are just be kind, have fun, and give yourself some grace because things are going to happen that are out of your control, but you got to keep going. We have yet another woman who just graduated from her therapist's office where you look at her and you listen to her. Does she sound like she's better than she was before she started seeing a therapist? because based on her rant, she said she used to be a people pleaser. She used to be very giving, very generous. And then once I got to a knife therapist, I knew I was being taken advantage of it. I'd never do it again. Oh, screw everyone. You know, I mean, that's the message I'm getting. I, I, these therapists just really, really screw these women royally, right? Mentally, just turn them into really rotten people, right? And like I said, you know, I had an ex who went to therapy, you know, towards the end of our relationship. I'm, I already know who it is. And it made things a thousand times worse. I really think that um, we still had a shot to fix things, actually, during that time. Because that was before she ever did anything. And she, I, I didn't even know she went to a, therapy, a therapist's office until I saw this uh, spiral notebook with her writing, like, you know, a hundred times in this spiral notebook, I'm a good person, I'm a good person, I'm a good person, which was, a, I, I was like, why are you writing that? And then she said, uh, I went to a therapy, a therapist, and uh, she, this was, this was the exercise she gave me. And I was like, looking at that, I'm like, okay, well, you're definitely not being, I mean, are you being a good person? Because based on your behavior lately, definitely not. Oh my gosh, you're crossing my boundaries, you know? And I was like, whoa, who is this person? So, You'll notice a common theme with women, and you've probably dated some yourself. You might have some in your life. You might even just work with some, right? That you find out, she starts seeing a therapist, and then you look at how she behaves now, and she's just very emboldened for all the wrong reasons, and just like so touchy about every little thing. Like any little thing you do, she thinks you're like crossing her boundaries and you're suddenly walking on eggshells with this person and it's just not pleasant to be around them. And so what do you do? You abandon them. And guess what everybody else in that person's life does? They abandon them. Because you can't deal with a person like that. You're just not 
reasonable. You're you're acting as if you own this planet, as if nobody else has a right to be here except you, as if you're some special snowflake. So this chick, like any chick you see out there who comes from therapy, they all start repeating the same talking points, almost like there is this cheat sheet of... Uh, of ideal, you know, these this cheat sheet of just ways of thinking that these therapists brainwash these chicks with that uh, is really, really detrimental to their relationships and just really puts a lot of people off at the end of the day. I mean, nobody likes dealing with people like this. It's not attractive. It's a turnoff. And yeah, nobody likes this, man. <laughs> so the fact that she's sitting here bragging about her coming out of therapy and oh my gosh you know and now I really know who I am and I really am not going to let anybody ever take advantage of me ever I mean it's just like good lord lady you don't need therapy for that right I mean it's just what every other human on the planet goes through but we learn to self-regulate right we learn to self-regulate like okay I got I got kind of uh taken advantage of on this so I I need to watch myself next time I'm going to make sure this doesn't happen but what therapists do is like they teach you to go to these extreme measures, you know, and and really almost kind of encourage you to become a narcissist, right? It's just, yeah, they, they really encourage this narcissistic behavior, which many of these girls who talk about seeing a therapist on their TikTok have, have a lot of the traits and symptoms of somebody who is suffering from... Um, NPD, Narcissistic Personality Disorder, right? Isn't that interesting? Next clip. You know why I love my therapist? It's because she makes me feel that mostly all the experiences I have are perfectly normal in a world that tells me everything I experience is not normal. Went to my weekly therapy session yesterday and I said to my therapist, I really feel every emotion so strongly a lot of the time and my moods change so frequently and quickly and I said it's really hard for me to regulate them on my own or to um, carry on with my day because what it feels like is a flooding of the system when I feel any emotion positive or negative. I said in the company of some people I can actually regulate and bring myself back down but that's not always the case especially not when I'm alone and she said oh so you need other people to help you regulate and initially I went to say no because the idea that I can't do it on my own makes me feel all sorts of things. But I sat with it for a moment and I was like, actually, yeah, I do. But I feel ashamed about that because I'm an adult and I should be able to regulate my emotions on my own. And she was like, why? We need other people to help us regulate. We've needed that since day one. It's not strange that you need a calming presence to help you regulate your own emotions. And I just love her for that. It took so much pressure off my shoulders and if you experience the same then this message is for you too you know i think the worst thing about therapists especially the ones that these chicks are going to is uh the fact that these therapists do not teach these women to hold themselves accountable for their own poor decisions they don't teach these women to hold themselves responsible for any bad moves that they made in life right instead they teach these women to project that blame onto other people. Like, it's not my fault. It's your fault. It's it, I'm not the problem. You are the problem. And it's a very childish and immature and cowardly way of thinking, right? Because people who are strong, people who are mature, people who have internal strength, they blame themselves first, right? Even if it's not their fault, they always look to themselves first and go, what could I have done differently? What could I have changed? What, you know, where did, what mistakes did I make in this? Sure, this person's a jerk, dick, whatever. But what could I have done differently? Because that's how you grow, okay? That's how you grow, is by looking within yourself and going, hey, what do I have to do with this? Okay, what did I do here that I could have done differently? You notice all the most rotten, rottenest people in the world, all of the worst people in the world, all the people that, you know, you might see on the news or something, just doing things that are, you know, just like, just crazy and mind boggling and that you're, you're thinking to yourself like, what's wrong with this person? Um, you notice uh, the common theme there is none of them take any responsibility for their own actions. It's always somebody else's fault, right? It's always somebody else's fault. So when these chicks go to the ther therapist, that's, 
that's essentially what they're enabling is the fact that it's never your fault. It's always somebody else's fault, right? I'd never see any of these chicks come out of the therapy going, hey, I, you know what I learned in therapy today? That I should blame myself first. I, you know what I learned in therapy today? That that situation with my last boyfriend, I could have done this differently, right? I, I, I'm, I'm the common theme here where I could have... I, I, I could have made a different move or maybe I didn't have to be so harsh or maybe I could have treated him better. Maybe I would have had a different outcome. No, they don't teach him any of that. Instead, it's this affirmations. You're the you're a queen. You're a boss, babe. Don't worry about everyone else. Everyone else is, you know, lunati Looney Tunes if they don't think that you're, you know, the princess here. And, you know, they, they feed them all of that nonsense, which really just screws them over, you know, just... Yeah. I'm surprised these chicks like they're able to just practice therapy on anybody. I don't you don't even need a doctorate degree to become a therapist. You know that? You don't need a doctorate degree. You don't even need to become a doctor. I think you could have your undergraduate degree. Not even sure in some states if you even need a master's degree for that, right? Which you should. Um, but I know as long as you have your undergraduate degree and you know you have some experience working even as a social worker, I think you would qualify as a therapist in many states sad right sad i mean that's that's who uh, you have like feeding you this malarkey so i learned this lesson from therapy a few months ago and i wanted to share it i was basically telling my counselor that i wasn't enjoying life right now and i couldn't understand why and my counselor said to me chloe you are so anxious about the future and so scared and haunted by the past that you can't even begin to be excited about where you are right now and what I realized was I was spending so much time worrying about what should have happened in the past and what could happen in the future that I wasn't enjoying being in the present. And I was missing out on so much life because I was worrying about things that were out of my control. So I guess the message I want to pass on is to be intentional about being present because tomorrow isn't promised. This is the most basic most vanilla type of advice you could give to anybody and the fact that she's paying for this advice paying somebody who she thinks is a qualified person um, is scary okay it's very scary because she's getting advice that you can get from any you know Tom Dick or Harry that you would see on the street but uh, this is why I say you know therapists are just a complete waste of time and I, I mean, <laughs> it's shocking. Like she, she's talking about her, like many of these chicks, right? They're talking about their therapist, you know, coming from their therapy office as if they've gotten some groundbreaking revolutionary advice that's gonna change the world. When in reality, it's the most vanilla, most plain Jane, most nonsensical advice that you could get from basically, you know, any bum that you see on the street, right? I mean, yeah, it's, it's really sad. I mean, and these are many of the things, the conclusions that she's coming to here. She could have easily came to these same conclusions in one afternoon, uh, just sitting alone in her car, right? And just putting her head back and self-reflecting. And for guys, that's our therapy, right? That's how we fix things is we just put our heads down or we take a drive, you know, we go to our little safe place, whatever it is, your garage, whatever, you know, wherever you feel but you could do some thinking and we reflect, right? We just reflect and we go, yeah, that was dumb. Yeah, not gonna do that again. Yeah, big mistake, right? We don't need to uh, tap our credit card on some therapist's uh, little iPhone device uh, so she could charge us for, you know, for any, any tips or tricks that really aren't tips or tricks. It's just like basic, basic advice. Uh, but it's sad, I mean, these therapists are, to me, they're, they're no different than con artists, right? I mean, sh this guy sounds like he was like giving her the, or not this guy, this girl, this woman, because 99% of them are uh, female. This uh, therapist was giving her advice and just kind of stringing her along and probably looking at his watch like, okay, I got to make it seem like I'm talking for a while here. Just keep talking, ask her dumb questions, and then, uh, and then uh, we call it a day until the next session, right? It's very sad. I mean, yeah, these therapists should be banned. <laughs> but as always, gentlemen, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video. Anything you'd like to add, anything you'd like to share, please drop them in the comments below.
and I'll see you there in my comments. So until next time, this is M from The 33 Secrets signing out here with the Lamborghini. Such a beautiful car. Just got this car and we're going to be featuring it here on the channel for many months and many years to come. So get used to it. And yes, I still have the DeLorean. DeLorean is not going anywhere, but we are going to enjoy this car for many years to come while we have it here on the channel. Um, just picked this car up, had it delivered basically a week ago. The same guy who delivered my DeLorean, TJ at Florida Exotic Transport. He also delivered the Lamborghini for me. Um, you can also follow me on IG at Macross Official if you want to see the entire process of me purchasing this car. I'll probably do a full review on my Alpha channel, which should be fun. I'll have that up momentarily if it's not up already. This car is just amazing. Right? I was on the hunt for this car for over two years. And then finally when it popped up, it took me over two and a half months to close this deal and get this car at the right price where I felt comfortable, they felt comfortable letting it go. Uh, this is in Rasa Festo Red. This car is finished in Rasa Festo Red, which is one of the rarest colors for Lamborghini. It's a $14,880 option. It's gorgeous. Looks really good. Ugh. But going to be featuring it in a lot more coaching videos here on the channel. So I'm very excited about it as you can see as you can see but as always gentlemen don't forget to smash that like button smash the subscribe button and smash that notification bell as well so that you are notified whenever i release a brand new coaching video here on the youtube more importantly guys make sure that you subscribe to the channel please right helps me out a ton when you guys actually subscribe and you don't just take off on me right so make sure you're subscribed to the 33 secrets as well this is in the right color too right this is basically the color of the 33 secrets right here right? i should put a big 33 logo right on the hood I just piss off all the modern women out there in any case for you guys who want to support my work and everything i'm teaching you here all of this red pill gold pill platinum pill content that i've been teaching you for years and years if i've added value to your life if you love what i do here the best way to support me is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months of Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, the same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students all around the world now are out there approaching and closing every single week. And I kid you not, we are making it happen every single week. I want you to join us. I want you to become one of us. Right? We should all be driving Lamborghinis. In any case, that's the best way to support my work, guys. All you need to do is click the link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now, and I will see you in my next coaching video. I'm out. Man, this car is gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. Woo! Oh, goodness gracious.